I did leave my back windows down. We've got ventilation, so there's less chance that I'll die today in the car. Hey everybody, it's Bunny. And no, you didn't just fall through a time hole back into a 2013 Graveyard Girl video. Vlog car is back. Who remembers being in this car? Yes, I made these with my hands. The only thing that's missing are the tassels. I just got in this car and I was so surprised myself to see uh, no tassels. Uh, but I know that they were starting to fall down, so I think Dogman just like removed them. I'll tell you about vlog car. So two reasons why I haven't been driving this car much is A, it is I think this year 10 years old. So it's definitely not that reliable for long distance trips anymore. And B, like I think it was literally six or seven months ago, we got a notice in the mail that said that there was something wrong with like, it was like a recall for Scion, that there was something wrong with the passenger airbags and so technically you're not supposed to have a passenger in the front seat of this car so that's another reason why we haven't really been driving it much is because like Dogman and I then can't go anywhere together like only I can drive it or only he can drive it just recently I think sometime last month we finally got like literally seven months ago there was like okay there's a recall you shouldn't have passengers but like it wasn't suggested like that they had a fix for it yet it was just kind of like don't drive your car it's not safe but I think they finally just like issued and was like we actually have the part to fix that now so we keep meaning to take it in to get it fixed but we just haven't yet there's a really loud plane can we get some more light in here why am i always tempted to film t vlogs literally as the sun is setting i'm like oh uh, five minutes before it's dark outside let's film a t vlog also i'm set uh, i'm obsessed can we just i wish i could invent like new lingo i'm obsessed with this bucket hat i think i've posted like 800 selfies on snapchat i don't know how many followers i lost because of that but I made myself happy, so whatever. Do you ever just get in a really like funky place, like mentally? Ooh, I just spat profusely. Did you see that? That was like special effects. It was so profuse. I really just wanted to pull out vlog car this week and like re-channel the old, the good old feelings of vlog car. I, I don't know if anybody else does this, but like if you've been in a funk lately, I'm almost trying to like reconnect with my old self. I sincerely miss the good old days where I used to just take vlog car. We used to sit in the chick-fil-a parking lot and i would just talk to you guys for hours on end in in vlog car and i genuinely miss stuff like that doing stuff like this and so i was just talking about it why am i like literally like all up in your face too i'm like i'm yelling like the past couple of days i've been talking about it on instagram and maybe snapchat and like briefly in a comment of one of my last videos where I have a second channel. And if you guys have been here for like eight months, I mentioned the thought of doing a second channel before. And you guys, I definitely think it's gonna happen sooner than later. Ideally, in a perfect world where I imagine like everything is perfect and gators are flying in the sky and it never rains and all kinds of stuff like that, my, my perfect world, I would love to be able to vlog every day. I know currently I couldn't commit to that and realistically do it because of editing. And I know I've said it like over and over and over again, uh, but I love filming, hate editing. It's like literally, uh, like I could film 800 videos a day and then it would, when it gets to editing them, I'm like, why was I born? You can probably tell if you've been here for longer than five minutes, I'm somebody that like lacks the ability to like sit and focus on a task. I don't wanna be like Hollywood, like I'm not trying to be like Spielberg, but I just do feel like my editing is so subpar now compared to every other human being on this platform that my editing is just literal trash it's so bad plus you guys i'm working on so many exciting special projects right now i'm literally just busting at the seams like oogie boogie i'm filled with bugs and string like i just i can't wait until the moment that i can share these exciting things with you guys i definitely know 
having a video, uh, a vlog, oh my gosh. Blah, 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 blah. Like, you know when you just like are trying to talk and then you just end up tripping over every word and then you're like blah, 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 blah. I definitely know at this point, I probably could not do a vlog every day, but I would like a second channel because I feel like I miss talking to you guys so freaking bad. And most of the time, I feel like I would like to, I don't know, I would like to be able to sit down and talk to you guys every single day. And the only way that I think that I can do that reasonably is to have two channels. I just feel like I should have a second channel that would kind of be like an overflow to this channel. Once again, getting back to like, are you ever in a bad place? Uh, because I do feel mentally like more bogged down by negativity lately. And I don't really feel it's like feeding the trolls or whatever. And I know you guys can relate because I know a lot of you guys like go through the same thoughts and feelings and struggles that I do with like anxiety and depression. You have good days and you have bad days. And sometimes when you have a bad day and you literally already are like, hey, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of bed today and function at all and accomplish anything. And so when you're kind of already at that point mentally and physically, like when people just say, and I, I hate to even bring this up because honestly the love and the support that you guys show to me is so much more overwhelming and the positivity is so much more overwhelming than the negativity. But sometimes when you're already in a bad place, it's not that much harder to like push you over the edge. Do you know what I mean? I've just been getting like mixed negativity lately. I don't know, or more negative. I just feel like the internet, you guys, like this is the dark ages right now, okay? And I feel like honestly, overwhelmingly on everyone's channel, on everyone's Instagram, everywhere I look, I'm like, ooh, show me some positivity, show me some positivity. But there's literally just so much negative energy right there, right now. And I don't know how to just throw a basket of jack-o'-lanterns on the entire internet. That's like literally the happiest thing I can think of is jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know how to just uh, do that and just kind of make everything a more positive place. I'm not trying to be like a whiny baby, but it's just kind of like, I guess I feel less freedom than ever before because like lately, have I been more into makeup? Have I been more into unboxings? Have I been more into this and that and the other? Maybe, but I'm just kind of like living my life the same way I always have with this channel, which is like, you guys know I used to be really into like ghost hunting and paranormal and stuff like that. And so if I wanted to post like two and three like ghost hunting videos a week, that's something that I was doing. If I wanted to post two and three makeup tutorials a week, that's what I was doing. And I just feel like there never used to be negativity surrounding things like that. But now it's like literally, it doesn't matter what video I upload, there's just hella negativity being like all you are is a blank channel now and I'm like oh my gosh and I do feel like the variety is still there but maybe it's not I don't know maybe I'm like blinded to my own stupidity my coffee is melting <sighs> top and bottom line is is I think I would like to attempt a second channel I can't promise it's gonna be the greatest thing you've ever seen at first, but I feel like I would like to kind of attempt that as a overflow of this channel, just so I kind of feel like more, I don't know, what would the right word be? Like freedom or like if I feel like I wanna do two unboxings in one week, maybe I'll post one on this channel and one on that channel. I don't know, man. I, I do not know. <laughs> like, I'm just so torn lately and I know that everyone who is so supportive is gonna be like, it's your channel, do what you want. But like, also, I'm not gonna lie and say that like just getting up every day when I'm already kind of in a bad place and then just reading like post after post about how boring my channel is now, like it doesn't make you feel good. The worst thing about that to me is not like that it's, 
happening to me. It's just, I, and I've said this before, and I will say it again, I love seeing new people get on this platform, and I love seeing people say, hey, I've always wanted to make a channel about this. I've been watching some of my favorite YouTubers, and now I'm encouraged to make a channel of my own. And I feel like that is absolutely amazing. But I also have seen so many comments that say, like, I usually never post because of so much hate and negativity. And like, do you know what I'm saying? Like when people get on the internet and they get on my channel or like anybody's channel or anybody's Instagram and they just see like so much negativity and nastiness and hate, I feel so sad knowing like that that's going to discourage people who want to create themselves and be creative people and put themselves out there and I don't know, make videos of like drawing or playing instruments or making makeup tutorials or like whatever. Like when you just kind of get into this world and you see so much negativity, I cannot help but think that that is like so discouraging. Like I'm a Fliberty gibbet and I know nothing. <laughs> so like I literally never, I never imagined that this kind of stuff happened on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like thinking back to myself like, ooh. I mean, I definitely still, there's no way I would have not done this because no matter what, even on days when I'm feeling my worst and I'm feeling so discouraged and I'm like literally just a pile of French fries laying on the floor in a puddle of my own tears, this is still the greatest thing to ever happen in my life. Having you guys as my family, this is the greatest opportunity that I've ever been given. And I never take you guys for granted. And I like never forget how absolutely blessed I am to have you guys in my life. So definitely like once again, the positivity outweighs the negativity so, so much. But I am like a normal human being, you know what I'm saying? And like, I just feel, oh my gosh, my own little backseat face just freaked me out. I thought that that was a face. Look at that. Oh my gosh, can you even see him? But I'm not gonna sit here and like lie to you. And, and I honestly, you guys, I feel like this is another reason why I kind of stopped T-vlogging for a while is because I don't know, like, I, I don't know. Maybe it is some of the negativity. I feel like every time I talk about it, depression and anxiety like people want to I don't know like rake me over the coals saying that like I'm not a mental health care professional like obviously like I can't imagine anybody would think that I'm trying to imply that like I'm literally just trying to share my thoughts my experiences what I'm going through like I'm just trying to vibe with you guys and tell y'all what's up like I'm not suggesting like don't get therapy don't get on medicine like literally none of those things have I ever done or said I think every time like I make a video just kind of like telling you guys what's going on it gets taken like so out of context and everybody's like graveyard girl has a mental breakdown and I'm like I'm just trying to like talk to you guys like I always talk to you guys and I just feel like everything right now on the internet is so clickbaity so sensationalized like do you guys know like the Dan and Phil tour when they had those like gigantic um cardboard heads have you guys seen that it's like big masks that look like heads I literally feel like that's what's going on in the world now like everything does that analogy even make any sense like I feel like everything now is like so big and loud and like I'm a big loud person but I feel like I don't know it's I'm rambling like I always do but I just feel like everything right now has almost spiraled to a level where it's utterly like kind of out of control and I'm like how are we ever gonna put this back into a box and just be like people again and not big giant screaming heads if we could get back to that that would be great like you guys i missed 2013 so hard like nothing i i don't even know what was going on that year but i just feel like that was like a mellow chill year how do we get back to that nice era where everything was kind of blue and foggy um <laughs> that maybe only makes sense in my mind i just do want kind of like more freedom to just be able to I don't know like do whatever again it's just such a battle lately with like I don't want to bombard you guys with a video every single day and so that's why I feel like some Siri series as like kind of have gotten like pushed to the background like follow me around and like t-vlogs and like whatever because 
I feel like more people like keep requesting like can it curl and does this thing really work and like everybody keeps saying that I'm not doing does this thing really work but like literally I think I already uploaded two of those this month and everybody keeps asking me to do the water wobble video so I'm just gonna relink you guys to that because I we did that like two months ago I think now oh do you guys like see my redness I'm turning into a cherry tomato I'm gonna roll down these windows try and get some air air everyone needs air I'm literally not trying to complain either I'm probably complaining I'm just literally I just want to be able to tell you guys like what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling again and I can't help it if some days it comes off as complaining like I'm not a perfect person I do not have a good day every day of my life definitely I feel like in the past couple of months I have been struggling particularly hard with anxiety and depression and you guys that just brings about feelings that you know I feel like from the outside looking in you can look at anybody and say like well you shouldn't like don't let the haters get to you like you shouldn't feel this way about yourself you shouldn't feel that way about yourself but it's just hard when your own mind is being your enemy and you can't help it like if you're feeling bad about yourself or you're feeling just bad in general or scared or sad and you guys like I really have not been in a very good place lately and I feel guilty about that I feel guilty admitting that because I feel like a lot of you guys count on me to bring so much like high energy and joy and happiness and nobody wants to be there more than I do you know um, but I feel like I would like to have another outlet where maybe I can kind of, I don't know, like express more of those feelings to you guys or just, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. I really don't know what it's going to be. Also, I'd like to get into live streaming. There's so many things like I just, you guys, like I'm not going to lie, like I've felt a disconnect the past couple of months and it makes me feel so sad and so I'm really just in a place where I want to try new things like I want to try maybe having a second channel I want to try doing some live streams I don't know I want to try it all I want to figure out like how we can get like a sense of community back more positivity like you guys know that that is like the biggest thing that I'm passionate about in my life is just bringing about positivity and happiness and even like the smallest things make such a big difference like I know reading comments from you guys makes such a huge difference in my life and just like watching you guys in the comment section down below like it I've always said it like even the most simplest things about like a swamp family member saying hey it's my birthday and then other people in the comment section wishing them a happy birthday and it's just like that I feel like from day one has always been the thing that I'm most passionate about is community and just the swamp family and the family that we've created. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of this down below. I know some of you are always like so upset at the thought of me starting a second channel. I always swore up and down I would never start a second channel. But I don't know. I just kind of want to try it. I feel like it'll be a good little experiment for me and we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. I mean, definitely nothing about this channel would change. It would just be like another avenue where if I felt like I wanted to film a vlog, you know, because it's like I, I really do enjoy doing the weekly vlogs, but I feel like sometimes they get so long because it's like most people don't want to or have the time to watch like an hour long video but then if I even do like 10 minutes of filming per day for a weekly vlog, like it's 70 minutes you know I would just like to have more options in my life so if you're if you're down I'll link it somewhere down below other than that I'm just on a major caffeine jolt you guys I'm worse than ever I have been drinking like pink drinks non-stop coffees non-stop like literally don't do what I do I'm I, I constantly like just feel like I'm flying I feel like we should do a follow me around mission very soon to go get new tassels. I feel like that would be fun. I feel like I should start filming in vlog car again. Do you guys remember this guy? <laughs> he remembers you. Uh, and then I have this giraffe, random, but he's been in my car for a thousand years. And I have my lucky algebra 
college algebra treasure troll. I used to take this guy to, oh my gosh, look at his hair. It's like faded so much from just being in the sun in this car. Hey, if you've made it this long in the video, comment lucky treasure troll. I just always like to do that to see like who is actually listening to my ramblings. These cool headrests. I'm, you guys, I used to do like really cool DIY stuff. I don't know why, like literally what happened to me. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I've just been in a really weirdo place for like the past XYZ months. Like I, I feel like I have to go through like a self renaissance where I like rediscover myself and like get out of this funk that I've been in. Literally, I haven't even been like thrifting much. I haven't been like doing anything that I love to do that I'm passionate about. It's like, I don't know what's happened to me, you guys. I mean, I do and don't know what's happened to me. <laughs> it's just been a lot of stress lately, but I feel like I'm gonna get over it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm kind of approaching um, a much better place. And like I said before, anybody who struggles with the same stuff I do, you have good days and you have bad days. And so some days I feel like I'm like so happy and like encouraged and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then some days I have bad days and I just literally feel like I'm another person <laughs> and that I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I get so annoyed with myself and then I feel guilty for feeling that way. It's just a long terrible cycle that it's not even fun to talk about so i don't i don't even know but then again but then again i feel like it's important to share things it's not fun to talk about but it might also be helpful to you guys because i do think that that's definitely one of the most important things is to just know that like no matter what kind of a dark place or a dark time that you're going through that you're not alone and that there are other people that identify with the feelings that you're having and like can empathize that's the one I'm looking for, right? Sympathize and empathize. Empathize um, with the feelings that you're feeling. I think that that's like challenging to remember sometimes. I know that it's challenging for me to remember. Sometimes I just feel like, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm all alone. <laughs> floating in a tin can. Are we approaching an end to this vlog? Cause the sun is now setting and oh my gosh. There's a giant hole in the, I didn't even know. That's pretty cool looking though. 10 out of 10 for giant shirt hole. Right now I literally have feelings where I'm like, no one is gonna wanna watch this. And I know that that's my problem. That's my problem. That's something that I, in my mind, am telling myself. And I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to be a better person. <laughs> I would love to vlog more. Also, in my mind, it's hard for me to imagine that people care. Do you know what I'm saying? I think Dogman and I are about to try and go to uh, Barnes and Nobles maybe because uh, you guys, I'm on a comic book kick lately and uh, I know people love to hate on Jared Leto Joker. I know I've literally been snapping about it way too much. Like there are three main themes to my Snapchat, uh, Joker related items, <laughs> fidget spinners and Starbucks and selfies, so maybe four. It's just like opened up a whole new world of interests to me. I've really never been into comic books in my entire life. I feel like when I was little, I kind of did um, because I loved Michael Keaton Batman and I loved Catwoman and I loved um, Jack Nicholson Joker, but then I just like literally never cared about it beyond like age six or seven. But then when Suicide Squad came out, I really like got interested in it again and dogman has always loved comic books and so now it's just been like a really fun thing that we're getting to do together because we're like buying all these comic books and dogman is telling me about all these different like storylines i want to go to barnes and noble because i want to get the comic uh the the series i guess you could call it a see see i'm new to this world you can laugh at me and call me a noob um but i want to get the uh, series where Robin becomes the Joker because I'm so into that theory lately. If you know Batman, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't, you probably don't care. I think follow me around is in order. I think we should go get tassels for vlog car. Let me know if you guys have missed vlog car. It definitely brings back great memories of sitting in this car in the summertime almost every day and uh, just like literally talking about stuff. I like that. This is definitely one of the things that I've missed the most. But also I just don't wanna come here and like spew negativity at you guys. 
So, um, I feel like that's been something that has stopped me from vlogging a lot these past whatever months. I feel like people these days, maybe it's like a new wave of people on YouTube. I don't know. Um, but I feel like just more often than not these days when I come here and I just like talk about stuff that's going on and I talk about like my thoughts and feelings, like it's met with more negativity now than ever before and it's just like suck it up and I'm just like oh like you know like when you're talking about things that stress you out that's bothering you like even if you are being a baby and I feel like I've always said this before because people deal with things differently and people process things differently and what feels like a big scary horrible big deal to you like somebody else on the outside might just sit there and be like oh you're a baby shut up but like when you're dealing with something inside that feels like the most scariest craziest thing to you like you don't want to come to people and share your feelings and then like just have everybody say that you're a big whining complainer. It's just been kind of like a funky energy lately and I've been in a funk myself. So it's definitely at least a 50-50 thing that's going on. There's always more positivity than negativity, but just because of myself lately, it's been hard for me to not dwell on the negativity. So I need to fix that within myself and I'm trying, but I miss this more than anything in the world and I miss just being able to come to you guys and just like be a real person. But honestly, like I just feel like that's not really what people want anymore. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like a catch 22, honestly. Cause I feel like if I'm not like, blah, blah, like everybody's like, you're boring. But then I feel like if I'm just like, blah, blah, like every video, like I, don't want to do that. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm just going to leave because I know that I've already literally been filming for an hour. <sighs> and I don't even feel, I feel like I totally ruined the energy too because I feel like I came in here and I was like, vlog car, vlog car is back. See what I'm saying? Like I'm even having like guilty feelings now because I feel like I started out as like so like happy and upbeat and like happy and upbeat. And then I just like dwindled down to like, talking about like sad stuff. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for dealing with me. I always say that. Thank you for dealing with me in this time of like, I don't know, character development. Can we call it that? Um, where literally maybe I haven't been in the best place for like six to eight months. So if you have stuck with me and you have stuck beside me, I just want to say Thank you so much for being my friend and for being my family because I feel like that is what family does. Thank you so much and I love you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, so subscribe to the second channel if you're hopeful that I can get my life together uh, and that I can do new cool stuff with you guys. Um, I would greatly enjoy that. I don't know. I would, I would love the freedom to just feel like I can post every day somewhere if I want to, um, twice a day even. Remember when I used to have like double video day? That was an amazing time in my life. I'm getting out so I can take a really, I just stumbled on a rock. That's cool. Um, but yeah. Thank you for being a friend. I'm just, I'm getting out so I can take a cool like vlog car thumbnail. I also want to start doing outfit of the days again. Like I just need to stop feeling like such a trash person so that I'm even like able to get dressed cutely. Anybody who deals with like serious anxiety and depression, you know what I'm coming from. Um, like literally you just like don't, you just put on a bucket hat and you're like outfit of the day fam. I love you guys and thank you guys. How many times have I said I love you? I mean it. I love you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.